In this video, I'm gonna show you how to build a brand new network using Cisco ASAs. The reason I wanna use Cisco ASAs is that they are notoriously difficult to use in products such as GNS3 and EVNG. You have to go through a whole bunch of steps to get a Cisco ASA working in GNS3 and EVNG, but in Cisco Viral, you don't, because it's very, very simple to add devices to Cisco Viral. I'm gonna show you how to import the Cisco Viral OVA into VMware Workstation Fusion. In a previous video, which I've linked here and below, I showed you how to build a Cisco Viral network on a Windows 10 computer using VMware Workstation Player. In this example, I'm gonna be using a Mac, so I'm gonna be using VMware Fusion. The process is very, very similar. However, I'm gonna show you how quickly I can import the OVA map the ISO so that I have all the images in Cisco Viral and then build a Cisco network using Cisco ASAs. The process is very, very simple using Cisco Viral. You can build this topology very, very quickly. So I'm gonna show you from A to Z, or as my American friends would say, A to Z, how to build a Cisco network using Cisco ASAs in Cisco Viral. Okay, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing I need is the Cisco OVA. I've already downloaded the Cisco Viral OVA and I've also got the ISO. So you need the OVA and the ISO, which contains all the Cisco images. I'm not gonna bother downloading that because the speed of that will depend on your internet connection. I've also got VMware Fusion installed on my Mac. And as you can see here, I've got a whole bunch of virtual machines imported into VMware Fusion. I've got EVNG, I've got GNS3, I've also got Viral2, I've got Kali Linux, I've got ODL, whole bunch of virtual machines. But what I wanna show you here once again is how to get Cisco Viral up and running on a Mac and how to configure an ASA network. Once again, have a look at this video. If you've got a Windows computer and you wanna see the full detailed process of how to get Cisco viral up and running. Okay, so let's see how long it takes me now to get Cisco viral up and running. So I'm gonna add a new virtual machine. I'm gonna import an existing virtual machine. Click continue. I'm going to choose the file, which is this viral OVA. Click open, click continue. I'm just gonna use the defaults. Now I've already got a viral virtual machine, so this will show up as virtual machine two because I've already imported this previously. So I'm gonna click save. The virtual machine is now the virtual machine is imported. Now because I get asked this question a lot, let me show you the specifications of this Mac. It's a MacBook Pro 15 inch 2018 i9 2.9 gigahertz Intel processor. I've got 32 meg of RAM. So that means that the defaults used by Viral of eight gig and four core CPUs is fine on my laptop. But I'm still gonna click Customize Settings. And what I wanna do is select the CD, DVD, and then I wanna choose the image that gets used by this virtual machine. If you don't select this ISO, during the installation of Cisco Viral, it'll complain and tell you that that ISO is not mapped. You can bypass uh, that warning and continue the installation, but you essentially want this ISO because it's got all the images, including Cisco ASA. So I'm gonna click open. Show all settings. I could go and change my memory and CPU if I wanted to. I'm not gonna do that. I'm simply gonna close this and start up the virtual machine. Now I am going to upgrade this virtual machine. You don't have to do that if you don't want to, but I'm gonna do that anyway. The Viral virtual machine is now booting up. Okay, so the virtual machine is attempting to monitor all network traffic. I have to give it permission to do that. So I'm going to put my password in. GNS3 
even G will do something similar. You basically want to be able to bridge this virtual machine to the outside world. So you want to allow it to monitor traffic. The initial system configuration dialog displays. I'm going to press continue and I'm going to go through the menu options very, very quickly. Once again, have a look at this video if you want to see the installation in a lot of detail. I'm going to accept the end user license agreement. I'm told that two system accounts will be created. I'll have a Linux account and a web UI account. That's okay. Press enter to continue. I know the keystrokes. They are shown here like control P, control N and tab. I'm simply going to press enter to continue. Now it's telling me, and this is the error that I warned you about, that the DVD ISO has not been attached. And that's probably because I made the mistake of not connecting the CD DVD drive. So I'm going to select this option, connect CD DVD drive, and I'm going to press retry. So it's worked now, just to prove the point, if I go back and go back again, this is the first menu option, selecting accounts, press continue, press continue. I'm now asked to set my first user account, which is my Linux account. I'm going to simply set a password of Cisco 123 and press tab, press enter to continue. It warns me that my password is bad. I'm going to continue anyway. Password is not strong. I'm going to continue anyway. I need to set the next user account, which is my web UI account. Defaults here are sysadmin for Linux and admin for web UI. I'm setting a password of Cisco 123 just to keep it simple. Obviously, you want to use a better password than that but that's okay for this lab. Press enter to continue, accept that the password is bad. Press yes to continue. Viral can use DHCP or a static IP address. I'm happy to use a DHCP address, so I'm gonna press enter. I'm shown a summary of the usernames that I've created, sysadmin and admin. Press enter to confirm, and there you go. I've basically completed the installation of Cisco Viral. It's doing some stuff, restarting services, such as NGINX. I'm now told that the system is configured. Press enter to continue and notice the IP address that this server is using is 10.0.0.177. Okay, so I'm gonna start Chrome and I'm going to point my web browser to HTTPS 10.0.0.177. I'm told that my connection is not private. I'm going to go to advanced and click proceed to the IP address. And notice I can now log in with my username of admin password Cisco123. There you go. I've installed Cisco Viral. One last thing to do is to license the server. So I'm going to hover my mouse over system health issue, edit settings, and I can now register my license. You can also do this through the main menu option. I'm gonna click Lab Manager to go back. Notice under Tools, Licensing, I'm taken back to the same page. So I can either go to System Health, Issue, Edit Settings, or use the menu to get to this page. I'm told that my license is unregistered. It's an evaluation mode license. Evaluation here means that you can use the viral interface, create labs and so forth, but you won't be able to boot up your devices. So just be aware that an evaluation license doesn't mean that you can run topologies. It just means that you can use the software and build topologies, but you won't be able to boot up your topologies. I'm gonna click register and I'm gonna paste in my token. You would need to get this token from Cisco click register and notice it's registering with Cisco Smart Licensing. Now that's been done. Notice it says registered and authorized. I've now completed the installation of Cisco Viral. Going back to Lab Manager, I can add a new lab and let's call this ASA Lab 1. And click on the lab. And now all I need to do is drag an ASA into my topology. What I'll do here is also add two routers to the topology. I'll zoom in 
You can simply use the wheel on your mouse if you prefer to zoom in and out. I'll collapse this menu. So here's my topology. I'll click on the first router, click on this connector, drag it to the ASA. So first ethernet interface to first ethernet interface on the ASA, click on the ASA, click this connector, drag it to the second router. So second ethernet interface to first ethernet interface on the router. What we'll do in this topology is pretend that this is the inside and pretend that this is the outside. And I'll click on simulate, click start lab. And as you can see there, the topology is starting. Notice this little icon. Under nodes, you can see that these devices have already started. They're showing state started. Because the CPU and memory in this laptop are decent, the devices start up fairly quickly. You can see the CPU utilization. If I click on the ASA, notice I've got a console. Click on that, click open console. And as you can see there, my ASA is booting. It was as simple as that to get an ASA up and running in Cisco Viral. I'm gonna click on order to order space the terminal. I could have a look at the router also booting up. Second router, open console, it's also booting up. Go back to the ASA and you can see it says rebooting. As you can see here, it says platform ASA booting up. If I go to connectivity, I can see how the devices are connected, but let's go back to the console and there you go. I've got a Cisco ASA. Type EN, default password is not set. I need to set it, so I'm gonna set it to Cisco. Try again, and there you go. I'm in privilege mode on the ASA. Show interface, question mark, summary shows me the interfaces on this ASA. Okay, so there you go. I've now got two routers and an ASA booted in Cisco Viral. So I'll bypass the initial configuration dialog on the first router. On the second router, I'll also bypass the initial configuration dialog. Press return to get started, and I should have access to this device. Now, I'm not sure if you can hear this, but my CPU on my Mac is going crazy. This seems to be a problem with VMware Fusion on a Mac. I've seen that on the VMware forums, lots of people have issues where the CPU goes crazy when using VMware Fusion on a Mac. So the devices have booted now, but you may hear a lot of noise from my Mac because of the CPU. This is not a viral issue. I have this issue with GNS3, with EvenG, and simply running Windows VMs on my Mac. It's a VMware Fusion issue on a Mac. If any of you know of a solution to this, please put it in the comments below to help me and others with this issue where the CPU on a Mac spikes when I'm using VMware Fusion. I've tried a whole bunch of things, but it doesn't seem to work very well. One of the options that I've seen on forums is to uncheck acceleration of 3D graphics. Various other options haven't helped me much. This is once again an issue on VMware Fusion. But there you go, I've now got a network up and running in Cisco Viral using an ASA and two routers. The only thing to do now is to configure the network and test connectivity. But notice how simple it was to get a network up and running using Cisco ASAs in Cisco Viral. Okay, so to configure the ASA, I've got some configuration here, which I've used in previous videos when I showed you how to configure an ASA in GNS3. I'm essentially going to set the outside interface and the inside interface. I just need to confirm that that's actually the interfaces that I'm using. So let's rename this device as outside router. So router two and this device as inside router one. So when I look at the ASA and look at interfaces, Notice gigabit 00 is on the inside and gigabit 01 is outside. That is different to my configuration. So I'll simply change that. So 
outside is gigabit 01. Once again, per my interface diagram, gigabit 00 is the inside interface. I've got a route to the outside. I've got an object policy and a policy map. In this video, I'm not discussing all the options of how to configure a Cisco ASA. Have a look at other videos that show you that. But what I'm gonna do is copy this configuration to my Cisco ASA. A question that I've been asked is, can I have multiple console connections? The developers have told me that they are working on that. There are other options where you can use secure CRT and other multi-tab options to connect to Cisco Viral. Okay, so on my ASA, I'm going to paste the configuration. And there you go, the configuration has now been pasted. We can see that gigabit 01 is the outside interface. The security level is set to zero by default, but I've set it to zero as well. Inside interface has its security set to 100. I've no shut those interfaces. Now the inside interface is in the subnet 10110 slash 24. Outside interface is using 8.8.8.0. In this sort of little test network, I'm pretending that this router is Google. So interface gigabit 00 is connected to the ASA. I just wanted to make sure about that. So no shot to this interface, IP address 8.8.8.8 slash 24 mask. IP route, default route will be the ASA. IP address of the ASA is once again 8.8.8.8254. So back on the outside router, default route to that. And I seem to have forgotten how to create a default route. So let's do that again. And ping 8.8.8.254. That works, I'll save the router configuration. On router one, So this is the inside router, host router one, interface gigabit zero zero, no shut it. IP address 10111 for argument's sake, slash 24 mask. Again, I can go to interfaces if I've forgotten how the device is connected. Back on the console, that works. IP route, default route to the ASA, 10111254. Again, click on the ASA, I can see the IP address of the ASA. Back on the router, that should hopefully work. So can I ping 10.11.254? Yes, I can. Can I ping Google? Back on router two, notice this is the IP address I configured. I can verify that by using show IP interface brief. There's the IP address of the Google router. So, can I ping 8.8.8.8? .8 yes, I can. And there you go. I've got a working network with a Cisco ASA. I'll save the config and two Cisco routers acting as devices on the inside and outside of our topology. That's how easy it is to go from zero to a working network using Cisco ASAs and Cisco routers in Cisco Viral. I made a few mistakes that made this process a bit longer, but as you can see, it's a very simple process to get a network up and running using Cisco Viral and Cisco ASAs. Now, if you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. Please like this video and please click on the bell to get notifications when I post a new video. I'm David Bombal, and I wanna wish you all the very best. <laughs>